Stocks up, John, and uh, difficult, uh, some difficult conditions uh, that you're dealing with. If I could, it, it were to sum it up, the strong dollar is definitely factoring into all your, your estimates and all the projections. Uh, that is a headwind. Uh, you've also got Ukraine and, and uh, lockdowns in China. You've got some problems in different parts of the world in terms of uh, trying to manage results there. And you've got inflation. Those are three major things uh, that we're talking about. It, 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 anything else? <laughs> well, listen, it was uh, actually with all those things, uh, you know, our organization did a terrific job and we had a very strong quarter, as you indicated. Uh, top line uh, organic sales up 7%, broad growth both geographically and across categories. So from a geographic standpoint, focus markets, which are essentially developed markets plus China, up 4%. The U.S. within that up 5%. Our enterprise markets, which are essentially the developing markets, were up 16%. From a category standpoint, um, uh, personal health care up high teens. Feminine care up double digits, high single digit growth in fabric care and home care, mid single digit growth in grooming, baby care, hair care, skin and personal care, low single digit growth in family care and oral care. With that, we built modest aggregate global market share. Um, and uh, um, all of that, plus a very strong productivity focus on the part of the organization, enabled us to offset what you were referencing, 32 points after tax of headwinds with the combination of commodities, foreign exchange, transportation, and warehousing costs. Very strong cash quarter returned uh, uh, $2.2 billion to shareholders and dividends, $4 billion in stock repurchase, so a total of $6 billion. All of that allows us to uh, have confidence in maintaining our uh, fiscal year guidance ranges, top line, bottom line, cash. The uh, all in sales were up 1%. So uh, you, you know, the organic number backs out, I guess, some of those effects. Are you lowering, are you lowering uh, both organic sales guidance uh, and all in guidance or just all in guidance for the year? You're, you were up 1%, you're now say flat to down 3% for the year for all in sales guidance, but you can maintain three to 5% organic, which is below the, the 7% you just posted. Uh, all of that is correct, Joe. <laughs> yes. Complicated, isn't it? It's complicated times. So, oh, so is that a, dis will, will investors do not seem to be taking that uh, at, in, in a negative uh, way, at least at this point, you're up almost 2%, so I think they're, factoring that in. Also inflation, a lot of the gains you're seeing in, in uh, the sales, the organic sales you're able to post, 9% of that um, was, or you raised prices 9% and that offset some volume declines. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. Within that 7% organic sales growth, uh, nine points positive of pricing, one point positive of mix. Uh, there were uh, uh, volume reductions uh, to the tune of 3%. Two points of that three, though, uh, reflect the concentration of our portfolio in Russia. So essentially, uh, holding volume with these uh, price increases.